So on today's video, I'm gonna do a rad relocate on this Polaris here. Um, it has an antifreeze leak, but I think it's just the thermostat is bad. So we're gonna change that. And he's got some new hose. He'll be out here in a bit. So I'm gonna get started on it. Be lots of fast forward in this video. Well, so far I got all the front off. The rad's gonna come out easy once I unhook and drain all the fluids out. And then there's the parts there. There's the bumper and the winch, the top, and the rest of the bumper. Actually went pretty quick. I was kind of surprised. Bring you back in a bit. So I got the rad out. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Oh, it's in the tray. There it is. She's pretty empty in the front of this now. I took the thermostat out, make sure it wasn't bad. I put it in boiling water. Where is it? There we go. So I put it in boiling water, and then the copper part slides down, and then it opens right in there. And it worked fine. It was starting to open before the water even boiled. Size is at 180, 190 maybe. Zero. Doesn't say. At least not what I can read anyways. So the thermostat's good, so I'm gonna throw that back in. Um, it's got a seal that goes on it. The seal actually goes around the thermostat. I got it sent back in the hole. I'm gonna take it back out and put it on here and I'll put it back in. And then my son called, he's gonna be here anytime with all the new hose and everything. And then when he gets here, I'll get him, give him, get him to give me a hand. We'll put the bumper back on, all that stuff back on in the front, 
front storage rack, and then we're gonna fab a fab a bracket. He's bringing his welder. We're gonna weld up a bracket and try to make it look as good as we can. So got it all back together. Now we're gonna try to fab something for the hook, hold the rad up there. Grab the rad, hold, hold it up there. Still need to freeze it. So we're gonna hook the rad like so, somewhere around there. And we're gonna try to fab it on with his head in the way. Oh, yeah. It'll probably have to be about like that. Yeah. To get the hose on. All right, I'll bring you back when we start fabbing something and cutting and welding. So that's what we got done so far. We made these brackets here. We're going to bolt it down right here. Bolt it right to the storage rack. Both sides. Both sides are the same. It's going to be strong as hell. Offset a little bit. Just because. So it should turn out pretty good. So, got her all mounted. It's pretty strong. I think that's gonna work out pretty good. You can see how we bolted in some actual, right in the top there. This one here was a little harder to do. This one here. But I had some Allen screws we put in and it just mounted right. To the original mounts, she's they say she's pretty strong, she ain't moving. Well, I got all the plumbing done except for one piece. My son's gonna bring out the piece where it attaches, it goes from one and a half to no, it goes from one inch to three quarter. I only had one adapter, I didn't have another one. He's gonna bring one out, seeing I don't live right in town. Got the fan all hooked up. She's pretty solid. The whole bike will move before that moves. Fans hooked up. So he's gonna he's gonna dress the rest of it up. He's gonna get some kind of screen or something for the front. And then something for the back too. He said he's gonna do that part. I'll bring it back when that's all done. I'll make a short video of how it looks and everything. Well, I was supposed to finish this video today. And I got everything all hooked up. I got the cover, I'm just gonna cut it down the middle, put a couple holes in it, and then put it back on. But when I started filling with antifreeze, this was leaking a bit, and when I went to tighten it that little bit more, cracked it right there. Of course, it's not the first time I've done that. So, so that'll be the end of this video, obviously. Um, when I get it running back up, I'll do a short one on it, add it to another video or something. But I'm gonna put it back in the garage for now. So as my wife says, subscribe, give me likes.